Violet, and she came from a, a hoarding case, um, and uh, she's very quite ill, but she's extremely bonded to me and just the sweetest little muffin you could ever meet. Violet is just one of 71 dogs living out their last moments of life at Whispering Willows Senior Dog Sanctuary. What is Whispering Willows? We are a hospice house for senior dogs. We do everything that you would think of a traditional hospice facility would do for humans. We do that for the dogs. The dogs receive 24-hour care, medical treatment, and are never alone or caged, and get to live out their final days on a wonderful ranch setting in Missouri. It is a happy environment. They do play, they are silly, they do love us, they have their favorite workers. Valerie started Whispering Willow after her father passed away. He had a Doberman who she could not take care of due to her housing restrictions at the time, but struggled for months trying to find someone to take her. It was heartbreaking because she was my dad's best friend and she had sat with him through his whole cancer um, diagnosis. It started me thinking of like, why isn't there help for senior dogs? Something that all of a sudden my heart was like, oh my goodness, like this is, this is what you should do with your life. <laughs> so. And you look like you have a big, big heart. And while Valerie and her staff care for dogs, the dogs in turn give so much back. The bond that comes is very strong, and so it's almost as if you've known them for a lifetime because they love you with their whole heart. And when the dogs cannot go on any longer, the team and the other dogs are there as they take their final breath. So all the dogs are included. They get to be by their friend that they're losing or their bonded mate, and all of our workers, we try to have come and sit in there because it's a sacred moment. They really will sit there and wait as as the dog passes. When we die, we wanna know that somebody's there with us or somebody will be there. And that's the same for them. They look for you when they're passing. And it's something that humans don't do well. Humans don't show the respect that dogs do for life. The nonprofit gets about 100 calls a week to ask if they can take on more dogs. Valerie says sanctuaries like hers are needed across the country, but it's also important for people to realize that once you have a dog, you should make plans for them until their final days. It's the right thing to do for someone who is family. It's not a weakness to say that you loved your animal or that they were your best friend or that you, you were with them and held them and cried as they passed because that's an honor. a special person that's for I sure. Know. I love how she was able to find a passion out of what was potentially a problem mm -hmm. when her father's dog mm -hmm. needed help. Well Whispering Willows by the way costs about $10,000 a week to run. If you'd like to make a donation you can head to Whispering Willows Senior Dog Sanctuary dot com and check it out there. But uh, wow gee I mean that, yeah. that's a that's a special woman and, a, and right. a, certainly a special place. And one of, one of the things that I learned and I'm always learning from these G thing stories is how dogs mourn and she made the point better than humans. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I've been asking people as, as the dogs pass on, stories about how a dog would stay on top of the grave right, for right. a day or two or mm -hmm. three, then move mm -hmm. on. Or in this case, she mentioned that there's communication from dog to the deceased dog, wow. and then immediately on to the next task. Right. And just like humans, uh, they grieve differently. Mm -hmm.